All right, so I was just walking by this uh, these posters here, and there's mirrors here. Okay, you can see mirrors, right? It's a little windy out, so I'm going to speak a little louder. So there's mirrors here. There's mirrors here, and and the way that they position, there's another one right there. <laughs> the, the way they positioned it is, you know, to see your face, okay? So I'm about six, six foot high, so you could see your face, but, um, you know, they didn't put it way down here or way up there. They did it so that, that you could look and see your face. And I just thought this is a very, this is a very powerful spiritual practice is looking in the mirror and what do you see? What do you see? Do you naturally see the divine? Do you naturally see a beautiful manifestation of source energy okay do you naturally see your beautiful self do you naturally your beautiful divine self do you naturally see unconditional love right or do you see a wounded soul. Do you see, I'm trying to look at the camera, do you see past trauma? Do you see someone unworthy? Okay. And if you Thank you. And if you do see someone unworthy, someone, you know, a, a damaged soul, that's okay. That's okay. Because that is a uh, egoic construct that has been constructed in this incarnation and probably past incarnations. And it's okay, you see, it, it, because you need to heal that, you need to be with that. Bring patient acceptance to those feelings of unworthiness. Of those feelings of that you are not a divine soul, okay? That's the spiritual practice. You see, some spiritual teachers say, hey, you got to see your perfection, right? And on one level, that is true. You are perfect. You are a beautiful manifestation of source. You are eternal. You are unconditional love, okay, on one level. But you got to be honest with yourself. Okay, you got to be honest with yourself where you are right now. Okay. Where you are right now. Okay. And if you have done a lot of work, you've done a lot of healing the pain bodies, dissolving shadows, then fine. You, you can look in the mirror and you can see the divine, okay? You could see a worthy representation of a beautiful manifestation of source of God, of your Buddha nature, fine, okay? But there's not a lot of people on this planet right now who naturally ha have that, okay? 
So you got to be honest with yourself. At, even after I had my awakening, even after, you know, 20 years ago, even after touching the divine, Thank you. Even after experiencing emptiness and unconditional love and the peace that passeth understanding. This incarnation was still conditioned to when I looked in the mirror, I felt unworthy. I felt that I could not love, that this, this being was not lovable, that this being was damaged, that this being was, I had a lot of shame, I, there was a lot of shamefulness in this being, okay? And sure, there were times when I read certain spiritual teachers and whatnot, where, hey, you got to, you got to be happy and see the divine in you. But I didn't. And so there was a time where maybe I kind of faked it. I kind of, oh, okay, I see. But it was superficial. I was lying to myself, to, to what was actually happening. Okay. But over the years, over, over facing the unworthiness, facing the hatred towards myself, facing the pain bodies, facing the shame, Yes, to those people who are going to make comments. Yes, I do see the, you know, the Playboy seltzer water ad, or uh, uh, vodka seltzer ads, okay? And sure, they're kind of funny, okay? Wah, wah. Okay. I had to face my delusions about myself. And then as time went by and many years went by, I could finally naturally look in the mirror and see the divine, see the perfection see the unconditional love see the beautiful manifestation of sword see the eternal okay be honest where you are at on this spiritual path That is a great spiritual practice. Always be honest. And if you have tried to condition, you know, try, gotten to a bad habit of being dishonest and repressing things, you know, start facing that. Be honest that you, you've been spiritual bypassing. It's called spiritual bypassing. And we all do it to a certain degree. Okay. 
It's funny because I'm walking out today. I'm a, I, it's very windy today. And I'm like, this is not a good day to make any posts today. So I'm like, I kind of resign myself. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to make any posts today because it's too windy out. And the audio is going to be all messed up. And then I saw this. Because who knows? Because these things change. These things change. These could be ripped off tonight. You know, I've I've done post uh, posters where the next day they were gone. So I so this is all uh, this is all in the moment. And yes, I do do posts where I say you are a beautiful manifestation of source because I want to remind you of that fact. But even though I remind you if you don't feel those words, if you don't feel the truth of those words, that's okay. That's a delusion. Bring presence to that. Have patient acceptance with that, that delusion so that it dissolves. And you, and you could cultivate worthiness as the true worthiness, natural worthiness start shining through as you develop presence, as you awaken to your eternal truth, right? And, and I also love the, the mirror as a beautiful metaphor for truth, for emptiness, right? This mirror doesn't judge you. This mirror is just, ref is just reflecting what is in front of you, right? This mirror, it's not like, uh, is it Snow White? Where the, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, the mirror talks back to uh, the evil queen or whoever. No, the mirror just is just a reflection, right? It's just a reflection. But I would add, I would add that the attributes of emptiness of source is peace, unconditional love, compassion, joy, happiness too. So I would add that to the mirror of sort of just reflecting neutrality and everything. It's been my experience though that those are attributes of it because I've, I've felt it and sensed it and seen and and uh, uh, been transformed by those qualities. OK. But in its essence, it's just reflecting. With no judgment, no criticism. All right. All right. So I just love it. So thank you for the mirrors. And uh, thank you for the ads in the background. Life is funny. Life is funny and laugh and, and, and I know, even though if you're if you're stuck in pain bodies, if you're if you're really at a low point, you know, this this practice might not be good for you. But if you're not in that state or frame of mind, um, laugh at yourself, laugh at yourself, learn to laugh at this incarnation. Don't take it so seriously, you know.
don't take it so seriously. Right? That that diminishes the ego, that diminishes the, you know, okay. All right. So love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you all the way around me. And thank you, mirrors, for showing up. And uh, I love you again. And until hopefully this has been helpful. Until we meet again next time in the uh, in the you are worthy of awakening to your divine essence to your divine truth because you are a beautiful manifestation of source now moment